think what we're seeing now is a crisis in the making. It's not crisis mode yet. Yeah, not a crisis yet, but a veteran GOP advertising exec says it could become one. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Cabell. And I'm Heidi Hatch. What's the impact with the state audit of the Attorney General's office on the horizon? Brian Malahi asking more questions today. Brian. Yeah, second in command for a previous Attorney General thinks the audit is likely going to be a distraction, but not a disruption of the people's business. Attorney General Sean Reyes publicly foresees no bombshell. There's no smoking gun in, in this audit because there were no shots fired. But the audit of his office, not even started, is drawing attention. One of the big distractions. This is what Reed Richards, long ago Chief Deputy Utah Attorney General, suspects. Everyone in the office that goes anywhere to clients or elsewhere gets asked about it. Is it a crisis for the Attorney General right now? It's not crisis mode yet. Kelly Cassidy, ad agency owner steeped in GOP politics. We always strive to be better. Says the attorney general under question for his association with Tim Ballard should pivot from what has been a Reyes signature issue. I would never ever mention human trafficking. At all. At all. Reyes is up for re-election. But the audit may not affect the work of scores of AG lawyers. So you've got a lot of leadership on the, the level uh, where they're actually out doing the work that is well below the top administration. So Sean Reyes' office is here at the state capitol, but for many of the lawyers for the attorney general, they are spread out across the state in various offices working for state departments. Live at the capitol, Brian Malahi, KUTV2 News.